We have uh, developed nanofibers-based uh, controlled release oral tablets of amphotericin B uh, for treating the fungal infections that are prevalent in the country as post-COVID symptoms. Uh, these tablets are found to release the drug amphotericin B in a sustained and controlled manner over a period of seven days uh, with a realistic dose of 60 milligrams per tablet. So this drug amphotericin B is a drug of choice for progressive and potentially life-threatening fungal infections, uh, including the fungal pneumonia and less menaces. It is also used to treat the Kalajar or black fungus, a dangerous and often the fatal form of the less menaces. We believe that this development of oral and controlled release tablets for the fatal fungal infections could help in better management of the disease burden in the country. The disadvantage associated with the current use of amphotericin uh, injection include its high cost, toxicity, and poor bioavailability. And this injection release, uh, it uh, results in the uncontrolled release of the drug into the bloodstream. In order to make this controlled release oral tablets, drug molecules, they must be loaded into a base that dissolves the gradually the release drug over a period of time. And for this, we have chosen the nanofibers as a drug carrier. Nanofibers are 100,000 times thinner than the human ear and are increasing, in, increasingly being considered as a medium for controlled release of the drug molecules because of their large surface area and porosity. We have chosen gelatin, which is a FDA approved natural polymer. And uh, for manufacturing, we have chosen the process called electrospinning. While gelatin nanofibers could be easily produced by electrospinning, they are poor structural consistency uh, in aqueous conditions required them to be cross-linked. So we optimize the cross-linking of the fibers and then these compressed, uh, then these cross-linked nanofibers mets are compressed into the tablets. We also found that nanofibrous oral tablet was stable over a wide range of pH, which means it would not be destroyed in the GI tract before the drug absorption into the bloodstream. And as the main idea behind our research is to find a solution to serve a society, this technology which is developed at IIT Hyderabad is made free from IP so that it can be mass produced and is affordable and available to the public at large. We sincerely hope that some pharma companies will come forward to take this technology to the next level and start the necessary trials and approval, which can be expedited giving the current scenario in the country.